Well, hello there. You join me on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Oh, hello, little mouse. Um, riding my new CL500. Oh, change the attitude quick there. Climb up the hill. So I thought I'd just bring it up Glen Esk and um, probably get lost. But one good thing with this thing, it is very, 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 very frugal on the juice. So fuel tank of fuel in. I've done what I mean 19.3 miles since I filled it up. So loads of juice to play with. And that is one massive, massive plus point of this bike. I've only had it since Thursday, but um, I took it to work a few times. I've done maybe what 130 miles, is it 140 mile? So I'm trying to get as much on as I can. Uh, obviously, first service is due. Sorry, the first service is booked in for the beginning of July. So I just wanted to get the miles knocked off. And I thought, oh, well, it's beautiful. Why not? And even up as high as we are here, it is still absolutely roasting. And you know what? The bike's good as gold. Now, I'm not going to go into all the bits and pieces about what this bike can and can't do. But what I will say is. This bike is exceptional for this kind of road, this kind of environment, even through the town, the town and the city. I obviously live in a small town, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, look at all this shit everywhere. At least that's dry and not wet. Lovely jubbly, being a mook spreading. Um, yeah, so for this kind of widey, twisty, kind of bumpy, offish road, this is where I think this bike is absolutely amazing and where it suits. Now, why did I go for the Honda when you could have got a Royal Enfield for a lot cheaper? Well, Royal Enfields, don't get me wrong, I do like the look of the Hunter 350 and the Scrum 411. What put me off them both was the lack of power. 20 horsepower, I'd be as well bought a 125. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted something to get me through the winter without riding the CB. But as well as that, being able to go out during the better weather and not only have a bit of fun but just to door the bike on to be comfortable talking of comfort this bike has got just a stock seat on it um, I believe the, the optional seat gives it a little bit more height which I maybe could have done with but I wasn't willing to pay the money they wanted for that um, that's just me being a tight get Uh, yes, however, you know, I'm 5'10 and a bit, weigh about 14 and a half stone, bit of a chubber. And I'm, I can't grumble one little bit. Now this thing goes where you want it to go. Now I'm no Valentino Rossi, not in the slightest. I'm a mediocre rider, mediocre skill. I can ride a bike to a limit and that limit is quite low so I understand the gearing on this as well with the gearbox sometimes I'm getting myself a little bit muddled up coming from the sea beyond to this thing as me telling you that I know how to ride a motorbike but no jumping on the CB onto this and then vice versa <laughs> I did two days full of work on this thing and jumped onto the CB and almost ripped my face off forgetting just how much oomph that has got over this little baby so yeah comfort wise brilliant it's enough power it's enough power to have fun if you really want to it really is so I'm really looking forward to getting the uh, the old first service out the road gravel crap everywhere first service out the road just so I can give it the beans a bit and you know stretch its legs and even on my school capacity the chances are I will never be able to wring its neck to its full potential and I'm, there's lots of it. I know some of it's ridden the Rebel 500, um, has been a demo, and they said the engine is just absolutely brilliant, absolutely superb. So, there we go. Again, Honda, build quality, second to none. You, can, you can't grumble Honda's build quality. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people say that the, the bikes are boring, dull, and in particular this one. Just look at the views around here, man. This one looks 
are very subjective and yes they are I like it and frankly I'm not really caring what anyone else thinks I don't like the one with the uh, whatever pack it is but it's got the extended front mudguard uh, the number board and the headlight cowl I don't like that because it's all white if it were colour coded to the bike as in if it were blue or if it were black maybe I would maybe quite like the look of it but again there's other people who think it looks amazing so again opinions you know some people will go with it some people won't who cares so all in all yeah this is just a quick one will I dither about these roads these roads are well as you can see it's single track met a few cars before I turned the camera on and they're all sitting in the middle of the road thinking they own it so you need to be quite careful plus there's pheasants everywhere and knowing my luck there'll be a bloody deer kicking about somewhere who wants to come and play chicken with me literally I don't know if you can hear the roar the, the sound of this but that's fifth gear into sixth and it does take a little bit of winding up even though it's that parallel twin but I just wish they'd done the same degree crank they did on the horn it just to give it that bit of <clears throat> do you know what I mean just a bit of a bit more growl because it is incredibly quiet and yeah however they still keep the neighbours happy after the M29 with that Acre here So yeah, if, if you're gonna, if you're looking at one of these, go and have a shot on one. Honestly, go and have a shot on one. They are absolutely brilliant. Oh, this is a dead end here. Oh, so it is. I forgot about that. Oh well, I'm a deck, am I? Right. By firing today. Oh, really? Ooh. By the way, I'm shit at doing U-turns. I'm terrible. But the turning circle on this thing is absolutely brilliant. That must be... You know, my sense of direction was absolutely terrible. do 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 yeah, but honestly, get a shot on one, see what you think. Um, and hopefully it's been broken in by the time you do have a shot, so you can get to really open that engine up as much as you can. No idea where the cost motorcycles in Dundee. Uh, Martin and the guys are absolutely brilliant. And, you know, I think having a dealer quite close to you is really really important and not only that but a dealer that's going to look after you if things do go wrong and hopefully they don't so no yeah that's my wee heaver by this little bad boy um, whatever most of these people have said on these fancy channels about how it behaves in corners, how comfortable it is, um, how frugal it is on the juice, the wee engine, just how much it gives, is all in my eyes true. I quite often I watch a video and then I've jumped on that bike and gone, what are you going on about? Nope, true to form, what's been said about this is all completely true. So yeah. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day folks, that's me overnight. Doodle pip.